Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Backpack Battles, a game that is unabashedly a combination of Backpack Hero and Super Auto Pets. We're going to be popping on in to check out the demo here. In we go. Unranked game or ranked game? I have only popped in to literally adjust settings and stuff like that before I even realized it was an online game. So, hey, in we go. Buy items from the shop by dragging them into your inventory. So we have ourselves a backpack like we would in like a backpack hero. Effectively, we have items that are going to automatically be doing things for us. And what is important is the stuff we buy and the place in our backpack that we put them. So what do we have? Cool down four seconds, inflict a poison, which is deal a damage per stack for two seconds. Food has a 10% lower cooldown for each star food Starred food of a different type has a 35% chance to inflict one skull on activate because it is in the coffin. Okay, so whenever an item inside activates, you have a 35% chance to inflict a poison. That's just what the bag does. Maybe we're going to be able to get different ones later. But, uh, yeah, let's see. What do we have? We have 10 bucks. So these stars... 10% lower cooldown for each starred food of a different type. So we don't really have that right now. Starred battle gain regen. Buckler when damage. Chance to gain 6 shield and remove, remove a stamina from the opponent. I mean, truthfully, a uh, poison build theoretically wants stall capacity, right? That's typically what we're going to want. Gain spikes. Gain 2 coins on entering the shop. I mean, that's not bad. Drop something in here to sell it. I feel like let's just go, right? Start the backpack battle. I will say, don't worry. I also think the character art is a little, you know, the way that it is. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so all items are going to be activating automatically. So we're going to be slowly applying more and more poison. We have a chance to gain a shield. It's not guaranteed. But slowly but surely, the longer the fight goes on, theoretically, the better we are. Yep. So we get our first win out of the 10. I'm assuming 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I mean, you know, Super Auto Pets. So we're going against other players, but they're not fighting us in real time or anything like that. So as much as it is PvP, it's like the least PvP PvP that's ever PvP'd. Um... Reroll Lucky Clover start of battle gain that which increases our accuracy. Truthfully, I don't know that I need anything. My question is, is there ever a time where we can improve our backpack? Because none of this stuff is relevant to us. Pocket sand inflict one blind. Why does it say block on it? Absorb one damage per stack. Eh. Every six seconds, gain five block and remove one. So this is also food. Five block and remove one vampirism, if they happen to have vampirism. It also has the food tag, so I think we're going to put that in the storage for a second. We're going to get this. So, theoretically, we have a different food in the star. Yeah, you see how this one is getting... Gotcha. We're getting the gold stars over there, but not over there. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll, we'll see on that. So, pocket sand is a little bit more useful now. But I think that we're going to want... To... Oh, wait. Leather bag? We literally can actually buy a whole new slot. Okay. Well, then, yes. Okay, good. That makes sense. It's not a surprise by any means that it works. I just didn't know. Each starred food of a different type, meaning, theoretically, the cooldown is going to give us the best benefit here. So... 
of a different type literally just means of a different type than this. I thought that, you know, it'd be one star and then you can't get any more stars from mushrooms. Okay, so we still have a little bit of slots left. We could gain the walrus tusk. If we wanted to greed, we could get the piggy bank, which is gain two bucks on entering the shop. Um, I think I can probably greed. Let's do it. For friendship and money. All right, so what do you have going on? Regenerate health per stack every second. Okay, we're going to be slowly applying lots and lots of poison. The longer the fight goes on, the better it is for us. Because we are applying just a stupid... Yep, yeah, 14 poison stacks just like that. Good deal. So what do they have going on? I think uh, just kind of like an eclectic... Yeah, just kind of an eclectic mix. Just like, let's take good stuff. When your health drops below 2... Or 50% gain 2 lucky. Which I don't think I care about accuracy. And 8 shield. I mean, the 8 shield is really nice. The garlic... Just having another garlic, too, seems good. We have the wooden buckler. If I could get something with it... On hit, remove 3 shield for each free star slot in front of it. When your health drops off, I mean, I do really want these boots. You know what? Is there interest? I don't think there is. I'm going to buy this and put it in my storage. And then roll for, hopefully, yep. There we go. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Good deal. So now when our health drops below half, we gain the shield. We gain the shield potentially on damage. And then we also have... Yeah, this, I can't really get that many stars out of it. Unless... Yeah, unless I get more food for over here. Alright. This should be pretty darn good. <laughs> Stamina usage is very low. It's said. I don't know what that means. Wait, nothing I have costs stamina. Got a banana? Heal for five to regenerate and regenerate stamina every five seconds. I mean, honestly, not even close. However, I kind of want to... Oh my god. Items trigger 35% faster. Some of that would be nice here. Block 30. Start with block 30. I can't quite tell how much space that fills up. I shall take it. And roll for hopefully some storage. Okay. When your health drops below 50%, heal for 8 and cleanse 2. So that would help us in a head-to-head. -head. I say we definitely want more storage. Okay, certainly this is a... Yeah. 30 block. All right. Huge block. I mean, getting rid of the... Uh, the piggy bank. I don't love that for us, but hey. Tis with tis. Give it a start. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm assuming that the leather armor just gives me... Yeah, just gives me 30 block at the start. Yeah, they have a lot more food than I do. They have the regeneration going on. I actually think that they have a better poison build than I do. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> oh my god, it's so tight. <laughs> okay, that was... Uh, I did not consider that the banana is food. I mean, duh. Like, duh in hindsight, yes, but... When your opponent regenerates health, you inflict five poison and two to yourself. I have enough to get both of those. And we might as well grab the stone too, I suppose. No reason not to, I guess. But yeah, that, that was tight. The banana I wish I would have bought. I mean, duh, ban a banana is food, I'm aware. But it's like, it's hard to think about the different tags as we're going through. So we're going to be looking... You have a lot of bag space. You're doing this similar thing as the last, but... 
deals bonus damage for each food. So you're going for like a cross between what the last person had, but you're also doing some direct damage, which we prefer direct damage. We prefer dealing with direct damage. Come on now. Oh my god. <laughs> it's... So yeah, we're bad against specifically the thing that we are doing, which is kind of funny. Items trigger 35% faster. Seems huge. We don't need the stone. I was literally just taking it for that. For each starred food. Okay. It's certainly not bad. I kind of like the idea of just going for... I'll tell you what. Let's do this. This. And we'll buy that for later. There's a real chance that getting rid of the buckler is fine, though. Each starred food. I think I'd rather do it that way. Interesting. That's a lot of direct damage. That gives us a lot more, yeah, a lot more direct damage, but a little bit less garlic. That's, I think that's okay. That's trying to, that's us trying to, like, end the fight a bit quicker. This is good. But it's situational. If they don't ever regenerate health, it never is applicable. So that's kind of tricky there. All right, I think we, I think we send this. We see how it goes, getting a little bit of direct damage and increasing my attack speed. Oh my god! They've got a lot going on. They have lots of HP regen. I should have had the other thing. Oh well, we didn't know. Okay. I'm, I'm about to be losing actual health here. I'm going to be going under half. I'm going to get a little bit of shield. Fatigue. Oh, what the hell is actually happening? <laughs> okay, three with one health. Is there something up with that? On hit, chance to stun. I mean, that could be good. Increase the rarity of one item in the shop every time it refreshes. The hammer is the only thing I'm thinking of here. I think we could probably ditch that. Chance to stun them is really, really appealing. Stamina costs three. I don't have stamina usage. Oh, I do now. I do with the pan. Mm. I think we can find something better. Remove one stamina from your opponent every five seconds. Triggers 20% faster for each free slot in front of it. It is a legendary. Fanny pack items inside trigger 10% faster. Hmm. I want it. The question is where? So if we did it like... Hold on. Does it technically count as being inside? Does that count? Triggers 10% faster. It does. But it's kind of... It's kind of jank that way. We could go for more poison. Or we could have this be right here and deals plus one damage for each star food. would be one, two... Or one, two, three, four would be the best we could possibly get out of that. Or we run here, but we're losing a lot of our, like, food adjacency bonus to make this happen, which is a little bit annoying. So there's a little bit of adjacency, a little bit of adjacency. It's not the best. It really, really is not. Um, The fanfare, it sounds cool. 
triggers faster for each slot in front of it. I can't get rid of the leather armor right now. I think that would be a death sentence. I think we're going to have to pull trying to look for inventory. When you have no stamina left, regenerate to full stamina. Gain one and one. Stones can be thrown repeatedly. On stun trigger an extra attack. Oh, my lord. Come on. Okay, storage good. Fly a guard good. Okay. Now that's a little bit more interesting. Now that's a little bit more interesting. We have this crazy rib saw blade on hit remove remove spikes and regen. It's cool, it's a bit niche. Uh, we can go for the pestilence flask for now and we can just hold or it's one to roll. I'll roll one more. When you have 20 block, gain 8 block and convert 8 health into block. I mean, when activated, it also triggers the effect of any starred potions. So that is potentially very appealing. As soon as I figure out what a starred potion is. Okay. It's to the top right, I guess. Sure, 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 sure. We should have 20 block. We'll see how it works. There's going to be, uh, like, I, I understand the banana. At this point, I think the banana is out of uh, relevance. Okay, we do immediately proc the poison potion, which is fantastic. We're hitting directly. We're stacking up to 23, 26. Not bad. Okay. Weirdly, the least close match so far. Hmm. I would really... I kind of like the idea. You know what? I'll buy it and hope for more storage. Good God, we need more storage. Use three regen to cast Blinding Light. Not going to be relevant right now. Lucky increases your accuracy. Gain a maximum stamina. Healing herb. It's not bad. I just... God, I just need storage. Should there be guaranteed storage per shop? How much that's One for that? Three for that? Give me the four. Discount fanny pack. Items inside trigger faster. This is a little bit weird. This is a little bit weird. Okay, so if we put this here, we put this here. This would also trigger this. This starts and triggers that, which triggers that. So we're going to start... We are going to be gaining... Gain 8 shield and convert 8 health into shield. I mean, it's not that... It's not that good, actually. Hold on. When you have 20 block, gain 8 block and convert 8 health... And convert 8 health to shield. Wait. Yeah, okay. No, that's... Never mind, that is good. But it's not the same as gaining 16 block. You are gaining 8 block out of it. But you're gaining that immediately. You're applying the Pestilence Flask immediately. Going for the double trouble up there. Seems fine. Could we sell this? Yeah, but what would we do with what we bought? Nothing. <laughs> Alright, and the pan is getting... Oh my god, you are greeting something fierce. If you can beat me, I'd be actively upset <laughs> with that amount of grief. Wait! The store, that is a backpack. I thought it was at first glance. Uh, Star items inflict double poison. Yeah, sure seems like we should probably try and get this. And then figure out how to do it. Figure out the storage after. So those would be the star items. 
So the, the, the knapsack was indeed storage the whole time. It just said gains one stamina. So I was like, oh, okay, well. But it, it it's a storage that gains stamina. All right, processing, processing, processing. For a second, not that I'm not saying I'm going to do this. But if I did. And I did that. If I did that. Okay. Also, to be clear, do I can you get multiple fanny pack triggers? Yes. But what does it do? It triggers oh, it does five to nine damage. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I think it's actively gonna be a bit better to do it that way. So those are both getting the double procs. This is a bit less defensive, but a little bit more aggro, which I think is fine. It's it's more aggro and less aggro. I mean, like, we don't have to have pan in, like, because it does two to three, and it was getting what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it was doing, okay. So it's doing 9 to 10. This does 5 to 9, and I don't have to care about position, and it doubles the effectiveness of all of those, which I think is more worth it here. Man. <laughs> but we also have medium stamina usage. We'll see how this goes. Oh, okay, they've got a, a poison palooza, or a po potion palooza. 20 poison per second, 26. 32 per second. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. One more win and we're good. We have a lot of losses to get there. Start of battle, gain three block. Okay, so this is storage as well. Good to know. Good to know. Godly bag. It says in the bottom right. Gotcha. Where do I really care about this? So what, one space? It's not really... It's not going to move the needle. When your opponent's health is below 50%, deal one damage for every debuff stack on your opponent. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to want to make that happen. And at this point, since this is, this is maybe the last one, we... Yep. Perfect. Okay, we could have it up there, but we don't really want that. We want them to be, when they're under half, it activates. If it's up there and it activates at the start of the turn that's not necessarily good because they won't have that many debuff stacks this is appealing so we can go ahead and just like trash everything for kicks and wiggles i suppose or not all right we'll go for it all right the hell do you have going on you're going for a similar thing i need you to get to half health oh my oh my i'm hurting Okay, they got to have health and they exploded. But what is going on? What do they have? The lightsaber. Uh, deal three... Or use three of your regeneration... To deal one... And, wait, three to cast blinding light. What does that mean? Inflict ten blind. What is blind? Decrease accuracy. Does that matter? Is accuracy a chance for one of these to not hit at all? I was under the impression that accuracy was going to be only applicable to weapons, which seems like it is. Yeah, it seems like it's only applicable to weapons. So I had... How on earth... What I'm most surprised about is, how on earth do I have 26 poison? How did I get 26 poison? That's what I don't understand. I 
I mean, I guess I'd probably grab another one of these. Okay, can we get to seven? We can get to seven. Let's grab another one of these. All right. If we get them to half, they explode. If we get them to half, they explode. I mean, this could be good. Is this that relevant anymore? I'm not going to say it's not relevant. We could have got the banana, but yeah, we're not doing that much of a food build anymore. We're doing a poison build that happens to utilize some food. What is this? Okay. Come on, get to half. Get to half, get to half, get to half. Yes! <laughs> That's It was all a gamble on that one thought. Just get to... Get them to half, and then they'll explode. Oh, my God. Okay. We take those. Oh, my God. You level up so fast. Uh, yeah. The full version will have more characters, items, and more. Well, all right. We'll... I mean... Let me... Let me pause. Let me see if I have time to do another here. Yes, I do. All right. Let's go in with the ranger, I suppose. I will say one very... I mean, first of all, did we have to do this? Whatever. I mean, it's so egregious, man. Uh, but okay, let's go in with the rank game. One thing I'll notice for sure is that, boy, uh, all of the characters at the top level were just the poison character. So there is a chance that it's just extremely good. Eight bucks. Weapons gain plus one maximum damage. So, starred weapons. Does this count as a weapon? Okay, yeah, okay. All right. C common consumable, but it's not it's not listed as a weapon, but hey, good. Um okay, so I have a little bit of money left. I feel like I might need If I could get the stone and the cons customer card, that'd be great. Yeah, I think that's fine. If we lose the first battle, we lose the first battle, you know? Like that doesn't really matter. If we, if we lose the first battle to set up for a good long-term play, that is fine. But, oh, those rocks just missed. Those are one-time uses, and they just missed. Bad roll. Okay. Good deal. Hammer. It's very large. Chance to stun for a second. I do like that. Okay, let's get it and then we'll figure it out. Okay, it's like it's like pickaxe shaped. Let's think about this. Wait, really? Okay, yeah. We'll think about this. Uh <laughs> It's quite hefty. Very high stamina usage. H normally, just normal high stamina usage. So the rocks take no cooldown whatsoever. I have no more storage. Let's roll, see if we can get some more storage. I guess I'll ditch that for now. This accuracy. The accuracy is terrible on that.
doesn't really... Again, we're investing in the future. Doesn't help us that much right now. Okay, buff those up. That'll be my rock corner. This will be my garbage corner. And I think we're fine. Do I think it's going to be great? No, I don't necessarily think that I... am in a great spot here. High stamina usage. I feel like that probably implies... Ooh, that was a stun. Another stun. That toot means I think that we were out of stamina. All right, we'll have to keep that in mind. Heal for five and regenerate his stamina every five seconds. We're going to go get the banana. It's reserved. It has the food buff, which is not that big of a deal here. Stones can be thrown... Starred stones can be thrown repeatedly. Let me grab it for a second. Let me see. The stone... It's the stones above. Okay. That'll work. Plus one, it can be thrown repeatedly. It takes no energy. I guess I'll ditch that stone. I feel like we need that accuracy. It's not much of a reason to... Okay, here we go. Things in here get thrown faster. Uh, there's a great way to use this, I'm sure. Just let me think about it. We can, um... Because I just... I want the infinite rocks. Alternatively, we could just, like... No, we can't... We can't put the hammer in there. Unless we flip the hammer upside down... Because only one piece of the hammer needs to be in there. Hammer's upside down. It'd be here. It would end here. We have... Alright, I think we could maybe make it work. It's a little bit goofy. And by that, I mean it's a lot goofy. Alright, so I would love... The whetstone to still be able to hit two things here, but it's looking a little bit goofy. Hammer going faster means really high, really high usage, though. Like, very high. So I think I think I beefed it there. Yeah. All right, let me pause and readjust. All right, I decided to opt for very fast stones that can be thrown repeatedly while only getting the whetstone here, and hopefully being able to get uh, a bag purchase later that fixes it up. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, come on. We need to get it. Alright, the banana- Oh no! That was- We were like a half a second off of being able to do that. We're gonna probably get beefed here. We're half a second off once again. Fatigue is kicked in. Yeah. Two times we were half a second off of this being able to be procced. I will say, it definitely means I can't have it go faster. Reflect a debuff, hatches after two rounds in your backpack. Okay. You are going to be the thing that hopefully carries me, because, dear God, this is feeling a lot worse right now. Like, like a lot worse than the other one. Okay, the banana is a bit tight. We could, we'd have to take out the whetstone. We have to really throw... We have to really throw for a bit in order to hopefully get something good after. I'd have to sell, and it just doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, this is not good. Reflect debuff. This is gonna... The same thing is gonna happen. We're gonna not have quite enough stamina. The hammer is uh, proving to be okay. It's proving to be completely okay. Yep. St 
Stones can be thrown repeatedly, except they're not. Starred stones can be thrown- is it not the things above? It's not above, it's... It is above. Oh, it's above no matter what? It's not positional? That's so annoying. It's not position- wait, so... All of the other ones change where the stars go on rotate. Okay, well that obviously changes stuff. That changes a lot. More space feels necessary. The question is... Where? Well, now that I know it's just above and above only... Oh my god, that changes a lot. Ugh. Because I want something... I need space to put this... I mean, one of them is getting a buff at the very least. We could have just another section over here. We don't have any rocks in there. I'm definitely buying this. The question is, where do I put it? There's no doubt that I'm going to purchase it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that tripped me up. Okay. Hmm. Okay, something like that is fine. And then we actually could, could buy another whetstone, I guess. This will hatch next turn. All right. I suppose that's fine. So here we go. We are definitely, they're both going to definitely now be thrown repeatedly. We have the buff. We have the buff, which is fine. The clover, sure. The customer card, sure. The banana, necessary. The banana, necessary. And this should hatch into that, uh, that dragon now. Well, okay, that was a lot of planning for nothing. Miss, miss. These have terrible accuracy. Okay, fatigue sets in. Bonk. Alright, I feel like we got the start of something, but boy, is it only the start. Ruby Whelp. Reflect 2 debuffs damage, 5.8, cooldown 1.5. Gotta be real? Feels like maybe we put that down. It's, it uses no stamina. That's way better. That being said, we could have both. Okay, I'm just trying to th think. Where where do I want this? Probably like right here, because then we, we can do this for what it's worth. Items triggering faster is a bit scary. It kind of beefs our... Um... Oh, it's only the... Idiot, man. It's the star items. Okay, that we can actually use that to our advantage, though. We play that whole round with the gloves doing nothing. I know, I screamed at you. I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, sweetie. It'll be okay. Uh, at the start of battle, gain vampirism, which is a health per stack whenever attacking. Now that's very appealing. Because we're doing lots of attacks. On stun trigger, next attack. Oh boy, do we keep the hammer? We'll do that for now. We'll lock both those. We'll get both of them next time. This is not getting the other benefit, but like I don't really have a great spot for that right now. There we go. There we go. Absolutely rapid fire. Start battle gain vampirism. We obviously want that. 
Um. Okay. Ideally, this is... This goes on the dragon. But where can I put it that it... It's getting the double benefit here. If I put it up there, that's not going to help. I'm getting it. If I put it here, could I do something stupid and... Eh, maybe. If I put it up here, it goes a lot faster, but it does... Less per turn. Mm, it's probably fine. 15, but it does one more. I think I think that's okay. Vampirism, absolutely. We are going to be running an empty, but I think that's okay. Gain a health per stack. So we gain two health whenever we attack. We're throwing lots of rocks. We're going for like a rapid fire meme dream. Um, is there a chance? It's also its items trigger faster. So, like, I could have it here, but the question is, like, do I want the hammer to be triggering that much faster? I don't know. Because, yeah, I really don't know about that. Can I get it to go on the banana? Mayhaps. there. Triggering on the dragon and the banana, so we never will run out of energy. That's And we'll also be healing slightly more effectively. This has got one wasted star. This has got a wasted star. I don't love either of those things being true. So I shall make them not true. That's better. That still has one wasted. That's okay. All right. This will be silly. We're going for rapid fire vampire. Okay. Okay, you are destroying my stamina, apparently. Toot toot. Okay. We are we are on the upswing. Purse of protection. I am indeed interested. Kind of like the idea of popping that bad boy down there. Okay. Wooden sword has a high stamina cost. So here's the thing. Cooldown of 1.4. I think that maybe... Well, no, we have the dagger, so we kind of need the dagger right now. Truthfully, we kind of want more rocks or something. On hit, convert one regen into vampirism. It's irrelevant right now. On hit removes... It says it's stamina cost of two, stamina cost of two. It's also extremely long, the blade. It doesn't do that much damage. I like the idea of the hungry blade. Nothing saying that it has to be there. Leafed it. I mean, anything can be there, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, I do kind of want the sword. We have four. That sells for two. Increase your accuracy by five per stack. I mean, we do want the accuracy. What is my bag bonus? 5% critical chance for each lucky stack. It's fine. It's a fine buff. The other characters is pretty unequivocally better, I think. Um, ditching the 5 accuracy is going to be a problem. the hell? Gain a spike and heal th for three every five seconds. It's not bad. A second ruby egg? I'm gonna lock it in case I don't die. 
on hit gain of luck. This could be good too. It's all too expensive though. We obviously can't do all of it. Hungry Blade. Convert one. The question is, is it converting it from me or converting their regen? Because I don't have regen as it stands. I would like to get regen. So this combo is logical. Uh, you know what? I think it's I think it's fine. If we win this battle, we could potentially justify the egg, which would be hilarious. Okay, they got a food explosion. This is not looking good for you. Oh, my friends. Oh, my friends. Oh, my friend. It's not close. Okay, another one of those is appealing. Hold on, I just want to visualize something. No. Huh. Yeah, I kind of, like, I need regen to make the magic happen more. Hungry Blade probably being three. We do want this. We don't really have the space for the other stuff. We could definitely get rid of the customer card at this point, being probably mostly irrelevant. We do need the banana unless we find... I mean, Heroic Potion, I... It could solve my stamina problem once, right? Which is cool. Um, okay. Let's buy this first because I need to know how big it is. It's three, right? Yeah. There needs to be, like, a little symbol, like, in Backpack Hero that expresses... This has a higher stamina cost, but... I think that's fine. If we are also buying this... It should help a, a little bit, right? Very high stamina. Yeah, very high stamina usage. That's not a surprise. But I will say it doesn't factor in the banana of it for sure. Like that when it tells me my usage is high, it doesn't go down when I put in the banana, you know? So the truth is my stamina usage is probably high, which is still bad. <laughs> but I kind of want to see it in action, right? We're, we're in the learning phase. What the hell does it do here? Okay, I just wanted to burst him down. We got up to four vampirism. Okay, so yeah, that was... No, it, wor it was worth it. It was worth it. Do I want a little bit more regen? Sure. But holy crap. <laughs> Honestly, this is worth one. That stuff's worth it. For when I get, hopefully, a bag slot. Another vampirism. Hoping it stacks. I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, they have the vampire... Anti-vampire sword? No. They have ten spikes. So, okay. I got hard countered. I got hard countered. They have a lot of spikes. So, lots of bill... Lots of smacks aren't good against them. Another vampire... What would I subtract? I would get rid of the whetstone for another one. I mean, it's just kind of... I'm doing it because it's funny. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? One of one. Stand by five seconds. It looks like it's probably a three slot. Which if I sold the banana, I could make that work. 
One stamina every five seconds. Heal for five and regenerate his stamina. It's probably not going to be worth it. Trigger 10% fast for each... Nah, I don't think we can. I think we need to keep the heroic potion. Otherwise, we get hard capped and destroyed. Uh... On hit, convert one into... Yeah. So, I would like more regen. That's that's definitely what I'm seeing as of right now. Just a simple thing that gives me... Gain one regen for every slot above it. Every empty slot above it. That is such a tough sell when it already takes up six slots on its own. <laughs> that is a really hard sell. I'd have to ditch so much of this. I could get rid of the hammer and the... Okay, let's think about this for a second. If I got rid of the hammer and the dagger, this is something I could do. I'd, I'd need this also. I could make it work, I guess. Apparently. Apparently I can make it work. If I get rid of all of that stuff. Oh, boy. But I also don't need this anymore if I do that. Okay. We're... we're I think we're going for a... For a night and day difference build. We get the 14, right? That's the kind of thing you check first, but... Okay. For each empty slot above it, I... It did not make it clear that these two wouldn't also count as above. I thought it was pulling a backpack hero where, you know, hey, whatever. Whatever. If we're done, we're done. There's a couple there's a couple unclear interactions that certainly would need to be sorted. So we have eight vampirism, up to ten vampirism. That was the plan. And we attack quite fast, and we're healing for 10 every single time we attack. Good deal. Good deal. Vampiric... Okay, so this... There's like a synergy. There's a secret synergy. That's so cool. Start a battle, gain... Two... Whoa. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Um Oh god. This needs to be here. Triggers 10% faster for each vampire stack, so these are going to go 60% faster. Which could be bad for Stam. I now am in a weird situation where I have a lot more sp space than I have things to do with said space. Oh my god. This is weird. I just need the the one regen thing. We're at eight. Another blood amulet? I mean, that feels silly. But I'm a silly man. Okay, we need... Well, I was going to say we need more attacks, but I think we're actually kind of good. The fact that we got the vampire gloves, that's a synergy. That's so cool. Okay, what the hell is going on with their board? I hate it. So we got lots of vampirism. We do at least... We cleanse a little bit of a poison every few seconds, too. 
I have become stupid. Always have been. Um... I mean, we don't necessarily... The funny thing is we don't really need another Hungry Blade like that. What I want is more regen. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Didn't realize we were capped up there. Oh, God. Wait, that's actually going to be... That's going to be kind of weird. Can we make it work? Yes, but it's going to be kind of annoying. We're going to have to retool the banana if we do that. Getting rid of spikes. This is a good way to uh, stop our hard counters. All right, let's... Let's do some freaking Tetris. Because this is what, four? This is a four. I can't have that be sped up. I'm going to, for the sake of um, seeing, okay, stamina usage high. Understandable. Agreed. I wish I could put it there. I kind of want to keep this here because it gets the extra speed up. So let's see if we can make that happen. Not, not necessarily, but also not necessarily not. Hold on. Tetrist? Officially Tetrist. The question is... Is that of any use to me? Where are the freaking... There's, there's there's a little thing that's just... um. Okay, here we go. Inside trigger faster. I'll buy that for my banana at the moment. There's that item that's just... You start the round with an extra regen. And it costs normally like two coins. And it's a common. And I cannot find it. We have so much empty space that we didn't need this, I'm aware. But... Uh, I need that faster. Okay. It says, okay, it says it triggers 10% faster. Okay. Oh, boy, that's a lot of space. Glad I got the thing that gets rid of spikes. We would have been hard counter right here. We are hitting caps so often. This is dumb. Uh, do I win the fatigue battle? It looks like maybe not. Maybe yes. Extremely unclear. I don't know what fatigue do. But they got regen now. Cool. Bing. We take it. We take it. That was with the... Uh, I was expecting a loss there, and then I was going to try and fix my, uh, my stamina issue next turn. But apparently, not even necessary. We take those. Whoop. Oh, there's separate rankings for each each character. Dang, man. I mean, it's good. Like, I don't know what to say. I like Backpack Hero and I like Super Auto Pets. So, obviously, I'm going to like Backpack Battles. Uh, the only th Literally, the only thing is, like... And you look past it after a bit. I love the art style for, like, the kind of storybook-esque look to everything. And then it just makes it all the more weird to have this voluptuous ranger just plastered right in the in the front. I mean, it, it's so it's just strange. It feels out of place and weird, and gonna it's probably gonna limit the audience if I'm gonna be real. But does it matter? Not really. Not really. No. Uh, the game is good. The game is good. The game is fun. I enjoy it. I'm excited to see more of it. Uh, it's developed by uh, Play With Fursifer. I know they have a YouTube channel worth going to check out them. I played another game of theirs called Fursifer's, Fursifer's Fungin, um, which was really, really fun. They seem to just know what they're doing with like combining things in a fun way. The biggest thing this game is missing is um, probably clarity on a couple items here and there. 
items need to have a little symbol on them that ex that show exactly what spaces they're going to be taking up. That is like a base requirement, is a really important feature in Backpack Hero. It's going to be important here. Uh, it's irrelevant after you play the game for a while because you'll know what shape everything is. And you can, to be clear, I never guessed wrong, but somebody could. Somebody could eyeball an item in the shop, think it's three spaces, but it's actually four, and then it ruins their entire turn, right? Uh, so that could be bad. Also being more clear with, on that visual chart, where the stars are, I think is going to be important too. Because some things had the stars above them, and then you rotate them, and then the stars rotate with it, and then some things didn't. So it's really just going to be clarity uh, that, that's going to be needed. And other than that, like the thing with the gloves, I, I messed that up. That was that was on me in the first round. It didn't matter. Still won with 10 victories. No losses on that one anyways, so. Alas. Or one loss. Whatever. Uh, very fun. Very cool. I like it. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day. Yeah. I mean, kind of a roguelike, I guess. And I'll see you next time. Bye.